Hello world on various media outlets including YouTube. I'd like to present something that has really concerned me lately. That is the case of Kent Hovind. And if you go to Wikipedia, you'll see a hit piece article against him. Now why do I say hit piece? Well, it has a few sections about his biography, education, different things like that. It has some positive uh, things about him, I guess. But then you go down and it begins referring to several uh, things that are very negative. Um, things that really, some, some of it's not even true to some extent, but this article can get away with it. Now, you go down to YouTube copyright controversy. This is what I call a hit piece. Why is that? Because it's completely um, out of context. The, the context is not even there. So this is what happened. This is the background. In the beginning, Kent Hovind and his ministry of creation science evangelism did not copyright any of the materials they produced because they wanted to freely give it to the public and the public be able to freely distribute it and reproduce it in any way they saw fit to get the information out. They're, they were for completely free information, freedom of information. What began happening though is people began to duplicate their material and try to profit from it or chop it up, take it out of context, and accuse Kent Hovind of saying things that he really didn't say. So Kent Hovind and his ministry began to copyright their materials, but still allowed people to reproduce them and redistribute them as long as they were done wholly and completely without alteration. So they filed um, some DMCA requests, that is, uh, they filed some complaints about people violating copyrights, um, and these complaints were rejected. Um, in fact, uh, the Rational Response Squad, a goon squad, complained that creation science evangelism was filing spurious DMCA requests. In other words, these people were taking his materials out of context and they complained when he uh, filed a request to have their his own materials that they were misusing removed from YouTube. So this article here this paragraph makes him out to be this bad guy when in fact this goon squad is the bad guy and so this is what I call a hit piece it's completely subjective and does not present the background to the facts it has a whole um, uh, it has superfluous information about his you know his federal crimes against unjust laws and it has about 178 references, and that might may seem impressive at first because you have a few court orders and docket entries. But if you look at most of them, they are um, just news articles. They're online news articles. They are, in other words, the person who wrote this article on Kent Hovind is reporting what a news reporter has reported from a primary a primary or secondary source. In other words, this wiki article is a fourth hand source to the news reporter, reporter who is a secondary or tertiary source to the actual documents which are the primary source. This is a completely illegitimate article hit piece on a living person. Wikipedia is supposed to have very strict rules against uh, writing 
spurious things or writing inaccurate things or even writing accurate things that are not beneficial towards living people. Okay, they have special rules for living people. Now, uh, if you go to view history, you can see that the person who has written this hit piece against Kent Hovind is named Biological Me. And I don't know who that is. Now, you go to Margaret Catherine Rogers' Wikipedia entry. This is the judge that presided over Kent Hovind where Kent Hovind was convicted of structuring and his, uh, his ministry's property was seized. So Rogers is the judge in charge of this or responsible for presiding over this case. This is a fairly decent article. It's got a lot of factual information about her career here. I wanted to do uh, kind of the same thing that this Kent Hovind hit piece did. And I wanted to add some of her professional misconduct uh, because I think Catherine Rogers should be held to a higher standard than everyone else because she is a public servant and a public officer. So actually her character is relevant here. Kent Hovind, not so much because he's a private individual, but with Rogers, her character is very much uh, relevant um, to her job. So this is what I did. I um, actually I save all of my uh, wiki edits, and this is my wiki edit for for her. I added this paragraph: Judge Rogers' professional conduct and objectivity was called into question during a case involving IRS structuring charges against Pastor Kent Hovind and his tax deductible ministry on January 19, 2007. She commented that Kent Hovind's actions were worse than that of a rapist, according to several filed affidavits. And I cite the primary source, which are scanned PDF documents of the signed affidavits from witnesses in the courtroom who heard, who heard her say this. I continue. However, the court transcripts do not include this statement. In a separate case, over which she presided on January 28, 2009, two Santa Rosa County school employees were con convicted of exposing others to prayer at private functions and events that they had arranged. And I cite the Washington Times article. In other words, she presided over a court case where school employees were convicted of praying silently at private functions that they hosted. I continue on. An online rating site owned by Northwall Publishers Inc., which is a private law firm in New York, contributors from the general public have rated her performance at 2.8 out of 10, current as of May 15, 2015, and I cite that poll site. 2.8 out of 10. That is a miserable rating. And if you actually go to this website, You'll, you'll find very disturbing comments about her professional conduct and her knowledge as a judge in case law. So I posted this in the article here and it was removed. Why? Well, I got an email saying that, th that Wikipedia has a very high standard regarding um, articles on living people and could not post it. Who removed my post? Biological me undid my post. In other words, the same person who wrote a hit piece on Kent Hovind taking things out of context uh, about his uh, copyrighted materials, about um, actually his case regarding structuring and um, the seizure of his property, the one that did all this to Kent Hovind undid my revision of the judge and said, you can't write anything like that about a living person. Hello, Kent Hovind is still alive. 
so what's the deal? Well, you can leave your comments, whatever, down below. What's the deal? By the way, I encourage all of you to do what I did. Go in and you can edit anything you like and see what happens. I will copy and paste this below the video so that you can go in and you can paste it to the Margaret Catherine Rogers um, article. All you do is go to edit here. You go down to the end of the article here and you paste this. And then you go down here, save page. And it will save your IP address so that uh, if it changed, uh, you can't do it again. But if more people do this, then maybe 100 people do it. I think Biological Me, who apparently has a lot of time and money to spend writing hit pieces, I think he would get tired of uh, undoing your revisions. Anyway, um, so long and uh, talk to you guys next time.